Now coming to the function of the calcium. The first and foremost function of calcium is muscle contraction. Be it skeletal muscle, smooth muscle or cardiac muscle, the main role of calcium is to promote muscular contraction. The skeletal muscle function is governed by action potential. Once an action potential comes, the calcium is released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And this calcium which is released binds to tropomycin and helps in the interaction of myosin and actin in the sarcomere leading to muscle contraction. Here, in the first part, you have a action potential coming in. This action potential will act on the voltage-gated calcium channel, thereby the acetylcholine which is released combined with the sodium channel. So, initially action potential come, the calcium channel opens and the acetylcholine which is released from the vesicle goes to the ligand gated ion channels and opens the gate for sodium, thereby sodium comes in. This sodium goes and act on the sodium channel and opens the channel so that more sodium comes into the muscle cell. As more and more sodium comes inside the muscle cell, you activate the voltage-gated calcium channel. Thereby, the calcium which is stored in the sarcoplasmic reticulum comes out and helps in muscle contraction. This calcium which is released, okay, now how does calcium induce muscle contraction? Here, you have troponin and this part is the tropomycin which covers the myosin binding site in the actin. So, when the calcium is released, it goes and binds with troponin and this troponin calcium complex causes a conformational change in tropomycin exposing the myosin binding sites. Once the myosin binding sites are exposed, this is the myosin net and the first step is ATP is hydrolyzed when the myosin net is unattached to the actin. Then next step is the myosin binding site is exposed and now the myosin net attaches to the actin. As it attaches to the actin, the contraction happens and finally the myosin net comes back to normal position when the ATP is binding to myosin. Now coming to smooth muscle contraction. In smooth muscle, the second messenger, second messenger systems trigger the release of sarcoplasmic reticulum. In skeletal muscle, it is action potential, but here the second messenger system. Additionally, the ligand gated and voltage gated calcium channel also allow extracellular calcium to enter into the cell. Then this calcium binds with calmodulin and activate myosin light chain kinase to phosphorylate which causes actin and myosin to come together and induce muscle contraction. Here you can see the calcium which is coming in and it combines with calmodulin and phosphorylates the myosin light chain. MLC is myosin light chain and which is done with myosin light chain kinase. So, contraction happens. Then, once contraction is over, phosphatase takes over and this myosin light chain is depospherylated and relaxation happens. This is how contraction relaxation happens in smooth muscle.